Watisha Jones, OBGYN, Genesis Women's Clinic. I went to college at Lyon College in Batesville, Arkansas. And then I went to medical school at UIMS and then did my residency at Indiana University in Indianapolis. I was the kind of kid who liked a lot of things and wanted to be everything and would get really mad if you told me I couldn't do something. Um, as I got older, my interests narrowed some. Um, I was always fascinated with the human body, how it worked, how to make it better, um, those type of things. Um, and so I knew medicine and it wasn't until residency that I found out about OBGYN as the career for, my, for me. I am married to my husband, David, who is an attorney. We have three children, twins um, that are in college and our youngest just graduated. Um, hobbies pre-pandemic are a little different than they are now. Um, we like to be outside, love to go to movies, love to go to the beach. Now we just really enjoy hanging out with each, with each other, playing a lot of games, singing, dancing, just kind of acting goofy. Obstetrics and gynecology, in my opinion, is the best of two worlds. It's treating a person medically and surgically as needed, as well as helping a woman through the stages of pregnancy and childbirth. Um, so you might come in your teenage years with those issues with your periods or um, questions or concerns about contraception um, in your fertile years for pregnancy or pregnancy related issues. And then um, after childbearing for any um, menopausal symptoms, hot flashes, that type of thing, or people just have any problems with bleeding in particular. Well, it was really important to me at our clinic to be for to know our patient's name, to know their story, know more about them than just what their chart says. So we take a lot of pride in actually getting to know our patients. Um, a lot of their social history and family life go into how they take care of themselves and what their medical history is like. So for us at our clinic, um, we're not real big on purpose, so we get to know each of our patients. Um, it's intimate, um, so you can feel comfortable telling us all of your concerns, that way we can address them. The top three questions I get for women are one, can I get pregnant? Um, two, should I get pregnant? And three, um, will I have a normal vaginal delivery? Um, so in the first one, can I get pregnant? Any woman that's having a normal monthly cycle can most likely get pregnant. That's not a question we can answer just over the phone or without an exam or test, but I would never assume that you can't. Two, should I get pregnant? The best way to have a healthy pregnancy is to be as healthy as possible prior to pregnancy. So if you have a lot of medical conditions prior to pregnancy, it's always important to get those as taken care of as possible before you get pregnant. And then the last question about a vaginal delivery, that is everyone's goal is to have a, one, to have a normal vaginal delivery as long as it's safe for both mom and baby. So when a woman finds out they're pregnant, um, they, they have lots of questions. Um, the, most common question is, is my baby okay? Um, so we are always assessing the status and health of the baby throughout the pregnancy with ultrasound as well as fetal monitoring in the clinic and measuring how big the baby is. Um, also, if they're healthy, so we're constantly monitoring mom's health, blood pressure, weight, and those type of things. So Tylenol is safe for most women over the counter for treatment of headaches or general aches and pains. Um, outside of that, while there are a lot of things that are safe, it really depends on what other underlying medic medical condition that a woman may have. So um, it's best to confer with the doctor before taking anything over the counter. For pregnancy, for a normal weight person, um, average weight gain is about 25 pounds. We don't want people to think that they're eating for two. That's a myth. We just want you to eat a normal, healthy diet. For most women who are start out healthy in an exercise regimen, it's perfectly healthy to continue exercising during pregnancy. When you are pregnant, vaccines that are important are the flu shot. All pregnant women and their spouses or partners should get the flu shot every year. Also, the Tdap or, or diphtheria pertussis vaccine is important to get while pregnant as well. What to expect during labor and delivery. Um, so each woman's experience is a little bit different. Um, what I'll tell you is that for most women, it's not a very fast process. It's not like the movies, water breaks and then baby just comes right on out, unfortunately. Um, most women will progress about a centimeter each hour until they get to 10 centimeters and then push. Once uh, a person should call their physician once your contractions are about five minutes apart for at least an hour and consistent and strong. C-sections are typically done for um, if the baby isn't um, positioned correctly, if the baby should be head down, if the baby is not head down, C-section will be required. Or if the baby shows signs of fetal distress, where the heart rate is dropping or rising too high, or in terms when the mom's health is in danger, we need to deliver the baby quickly. Those are the most common reasons for C-section. Stress can affect a pregnancy in multiple ways. Um, 
First of all, when you're stressed, that can impact your eating, where you eat too little or too much, um, which can affect a lot of other things in your body. Also, stress can affect your blood pressure, and we know that pregnancy can affect your blood pressure, um, making it rise to um, high to cause problems. So whenever I have a, a pregnant woman who is in a stressful situation, I think it's important to identify stressors, eliminate those if possible, and also seek professional help with a therapist to help manage that stress. Um, so if I have a patient who wants to get pregnant, important things to do would just be assess their overall health, blood pressure, um, do they have diabetes, do they have any other underlying medical conditions, and if not, just checking that their anatomy is correct. Assuming those things are correct, it's perfectly fine to start attempting pregnancy. For a woman's health visit, it's important to start routine cervical cancer screenings with a pap test at age 21. The frequency after age 21 just depends on the woman's underlying health conditions and what that initial pap smear was. It's still important, even if you don't need a pap smear every year, to come see your OBGYN physician yearly because there's more to the yearly exam than the pap smear. We're doing your breast exams, assessment of your overall health and wellness, as well as your reproductive function. Thank you.